hit it, Joe. Good morning, welcome to Cards with Connor. The time is 6.52 a.m. Right. Tuesday, July 16th, so that's good. Wasn't, uh, isn't July 14th like Bastille Day in France or something? Mm. Isn't oh, that their, that Bastille! Their, yeah, oh. isn't that like their end of it? And you know what, we're during back. The French yeah, during the French Revolution, the Bastille used to be the most heavily fortified prison in France until, well, until the revolution broke out. I don't know why I thought Carvalho car bag was sticking. Why don't you just stick that here? I'll make a little platform for you. Just give it a little more security. We're having all kinds of, so we've abandoned our mugs, our travel mugs, haven't we? Yeah. I can't do it. I like oh, uh, to ah, mom. <laughs> What's that? Look, look at your mug in the in the camera. <laughs> Wait, to ah, mom. I'm a to ah, mom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa, watch. Oh, whoa, whoa! Careful, 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 death. careful, 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 careful. Steady, 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 steady. You don't clutch. Don't Come clutch. Lord, the bump. All right. Rant for a moment not directed at you because you do so much to help i left friday morning for work i went to the lake house right after work friday and i didn't get back home until fr monday night after work i left three adults ages 23 to 19 in the house he was away for the weekend uh, yeah, i as was well. a, i was away at my dad's and so there I'm completely off the hook. There is not one clean towel in my house. Not one. And the last time I checked, everyone knows how to use the washer and dryer, right? Exactly. Hey, I can't be the only so one. So I who... took a video of the overflowing washing machine and the overflowing then receptacle for dirty towels. All dirty. Pool towels, <sighs> bath towels, everything. I took a little video. It's it's outrageous. It's, it, it's rudeness. It's arrogant. It's, it's well, it's a lot to just think that I'm going to sit there and be Cinderella, or you'd be Cinderella, and I'd be Cinderella. Yeah. We're, that we got to do everything for these. So I filmed it, and I sent a video in a group text to Anna and Jack. Hang on. I just feel like the camera's weird. Anna and Jack. I lost my little prop thing, so then I'm working with this thing. Mom, you, I think you just said Amra. <laughs> I'm so mad. Um, Anna and Jack and Ben. And I sent my video of the laundry with an all caps text that says, what the... F and I'll let you fill it in because I think sometimes people watch with their kids. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And the video was narrated. Yeah. I narrated the video and I said, I've been gone since Friday morning. And I mm -hmm. did not leave it looking like that. So anyway. Mom actually threatened to raise their rent. Well, they they pay their own bills. They don't even pay rent. They pay their own bills, which is a whole nother thing. I should probably. But I said, if you think you're going to live here and I've got to do all the laundry, then I'm going to charge you for it. Laundry services. Okay, our camera's in dire straits right now. I don't think I helped us. Oh, Hang on, maybe you just did it. You see how my go. little crappy thing is? Okay, you think we're good? As long as you're there in there. Go, there, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, you're a star. Okay, so anyway, that was my morning rant for Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I am Especially acting cool, but I am like, that's like, I'm KO'd over this, completely knocked out, mad. Not the way, and you know, and then it throws you and me off because I'm already in a bad mood. You get upset when I get upset, and really, it's neither of us. Nope. How do we shake these three? What do we do? <sighs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I mean, if it was and, you I mean, and me, Anna, I mean, Anna always talked about you know, find your own place. They're and lucky see. for her. There are apartment blocks right near where she works. All I know is you and me, if we were just roomies, we would have the cleanest house ever. Dishes would be done. Exactly. We're a Cracker Jack team. Yeah, and when I get at my guest house, as I've decided to call it Falcon Perch, 
which I'm taking. I have, wait, the change in that is that you're taking the S off, right? Like, what's the difference? You took the possessive. I mean, a fal I mean Falcon's per perch is a, is possessive, yeah, but it, it doesn't roll off the t Oh. I it feels like Falcon singular. Falcon per No, it's one word. Falcon perch. Oh, Falcon perch. One word. Yeah, oh. I see what you did there, Home Slash. Like a like Harren Hall or Winterfell. Do you want to read? There are a couple things in your phone. I guess you're still. Uh, um, okay. My hands are a little occupied. At we the do have an update, and if we don't get to it today, I have Devin from Love on the Spectrum's business website. I texted everything to Connor, but we're having a, a dying ride here. We're eating. Um, his email and his website, because we did talk about how he his company helps place um, people on the spectrum, mm. neurodivergent individuals. And I, I did forward his email to your phone. There's a bunch in there though. Mm -hmm. uh, I just screenshotted everything to you in a text, in a, in a text. Okay. So, because uh, I wanted to get that information shared because you guys okay, asked. All right. just, Heather Bar okay. Herber, okay. Heather Barber's 5521 writes, sometimes, I miss a few episodes in a row. I'm out of town or super slammed at work, but I kind of love it because I can binge back to back like Netflix. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's lovely. I mean, cause I, you know, that's really sweet. Hey, that's so sweet. Mm. I would think people would get sick of us. Yeah, I had imagine. Okay, that was cute. That was a nice comment. Just wanted to share. Sometimes it's a nice Thank one. Thank you very much. Okay, follow along here. What's next? Jamie, uh, Jamie Jones. I think this is Flo's boss. I think so. Three, six, two rights. I think this is Florence's boss, Jamie. What a lovely, erudite chap you are, Connor. Love the facts that you drop in every episode on films, history, and geography. Every day is a school day. Keep them coming. So, Jamie, you also use the word bereft. So I'm saying that you have the best vocabulary. Probably anyone I haven't met, but met. We have a pair of relationship, Jamie, over here on the internet. I think bereft of limb means... Bereft, I think, means de de uh, deprived. I, look, I had to look it up, uh, but I also... Uridite. I also looked up that word and I gave the dictionary. Eurydite. Adjective. Having shown great knowledge or le learning. Hmm. Jamie, who uses these words? You do, and I think that's fabulous. Yeah. I'm just not that smart for all these. I had to twice look up words that you use in a regular sentence, Jamie, in the dictionary. Kudos to you, Jamie. You're an Eurodite. Mm -hmm. With your vocab. Okay, I thought that was cute. Mm -hmm. Scrolling along, breakfast eater. Actually, I think that's it no there should be i please tell me i put devin's information in there i know i did i, I not text it to you uh, 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 uh. oh here it is okay everyone listen hi, up be, li hi, say it clearly <clears throat> hi lee sorry this took so longer odd it says sorry this took long oh no 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 okay no 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 wait sorry that's my bad my bad Sorry this took longer to respond. I have a website for you and your subscribers. It's www.zavacon.net. Can you spell that for everyone? www.zavacon, Z-A-V-I-K-O-N.net. Okay, so that is obviously the name of his company, but he also shared a business email if you want to contact Devin directly. Obviously, say you heard about him from our show, and you're one of our subscribers. Fire away with his email that he was happy to share. If people would like to get a hold of me, they can reach me via my work email. Devin at Zavacon. Oh, oh. It's all right. Oh, close one. It's gone. Hugs, best, Devin Morrissey. All right, so read his, spell his email out, please. So that's Devin. Devin at Zavacon.net. Spell it, please. Lowercase D-E-V-I-N at... Sign. Uh, yeah. Sign. Z-A-V... 
I K O N dot net. Okay. And then the company is the Zavacon with a K for their website. Yeah. Okay. So for those of you who ask, I hope that helps or Devin can help you with next steps or maybe with resources in your area because you guys asked. So I hope that helps. I love the networking. Do you love networking? Yeah. I love networking. It makes you feel good. I love connecting people. Oh, By the way, Mom. Oh, I know that was rough. Oh, I, I saw a squirrel on the road. Okay. Um, and then I feel like, was there one more thing I put in there? I thought there was a Game of Thrones question for you. Speaking of which, we haven't watched House of the Dragon yet. No, remember we had a discussion on Sunday. We have a Wednesday, Wednesday night Wednesday night, date. Wednesday night, yes. Oh, speaking of Wednesday night, I do need to ask you, and it's only for one hour, 6.30 to 7.30, here in town, there's an improv group, and Emily, who Connor dated on season two. And who is now dating someone else. Named Sam. Mm -hmm. I, ah, his, so Sam's his name. Sam's his name. They look like they have quite a little relationship. They went on a cruise together. Yeah, prob probably what they did their own Titanic thing. They did. They took a picture like that. It was so cute. Um, she's asked, it's, it's a, it's an improv group for an hour and it's Wednesday night and I'd be, I would love to take you to that. Well, and I think it'd be great. Can I respond well, okay. that you want to do this? Well, it's six thirty okay. to seven thirty. All right, okay, I'll do it. I think it'd be fun. Uh, uh, be sure to let her know, okay? I will text uh, Barb, and you put Emily. You got a new phone with a new number. So did you? You want to text? I, her? I I already I already notified her about it. Okay, maybe shoot her a text and say, "Hey, I think I'm going to go to the improv group." Okay, yeah. I think that would be great. Sure. And listen, you might make some new friends. Mm -hmm. You, uh, it's good for language skills and thinking on the spot. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, I wish I could participate. Mm. The cost of the hour of the class is 40 minutes. It's $40. Okay. Peanuts for all the fun you're going to have. All right, you got a cart here. Got your carriages here. Oh, you know what? We are a little bit early and still have breakfast. I'm going to drive you by the Jimmy John's because, or yeah, the Jersey Mike's. I was calling it Jimmy John's. I'm going to drive you by because you told me the carriages were picked up. I drove by with the subscribers. You said they were by the dumpster. Oh, come with me, young one. Let me take you on a tour. Mom, I swear to God, there is nothing there. Friendly bet? Friendly bet. Why would I bother? It's a guarantee. I can clearly... Mom, I don't Friendly need you to tell bet. me. Friendly bet. I, I don't said need you behind the dumpster. Do you have x-ray vision? Do you suddenly have a superpower I'm going to wear? Mom, there's, it's impossible. Okay. Well, we can't drive back. Can we have a friendly a friendly bet? Just I'm not giving you any money if I lose. It's not money. Maybe I want you to nope. make dinner. Nope. Uh, I don't bet uh, unless there's a guarantee. What? That I don't make I didn't make a bet. I know you didn't. Would you like a slice of humble pie for breakfast? What's all that? Yeah, I uh, yeah, I never make bets unless there's an absolute guarantee that I'll win. <laughs> That's not fun. All right, look. And new edition Someone put one of the hand carry baskets. Look at all, I'm just telling you, your boss may appreciate you finding this. I'm just humping you up your game. Uh, Mom, no, it's, I, six, it's not that, six anymore, it's 7.05. All right, well that's for you, you earlier than usual. Do your managers, so we got a question or a comment, do your managers ever say anything about how freaking late we are? No. I think they've just accepted. Oh, oh, by the way, Mom, that reminds me, I told Angela about my vacation with dad. She, she said, she said she understood. Oh, okay. And you're going away with your dad for a week. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, from the 11th, from August the 11th to the 17th. Oh, what the hell? Should we just put the window down? Damn those automatic windows. I can type with the child. I got to put the child lock on. Just letting you know that's over there. I don't know what that does for you. Do you think you could get this? It didn't exactly specify where. I said behind the dumpster. That could have meant a lot of things. Like actually the in the brick wall thing behind the dumpster. Therefore Need impossible this. to retrieve. Those are in like a, a corral. A carriage corral. All right. Oh, great crows. That's pretty daunting for a morning symbol. 
A bird of death. Oh God, don't say that. Well, well it's bad. Okay. Well, it's true. Yeah, but it's, we ought to hang up a few scare. It feels wrong around. having you sign off in this way. I can't do it. I gotta get us in our usual spot. I think I have OCD. I think I have OCD. Just leave me alone, okay? Just let me have my quirks, please. Sure. You have your quirks, I'll have my quirks, and we can all be quirky together. Uh, yeah. All right, so just so you know, I'm going to do a little checkup on those carriages tomorrow. I'm not judging. I'm just letting you know I'm going to check. Oh, we got asked about the James mug. I can um, I can let you guys... Oh, the guy was talking to Chewy. Yeah. Yeah. The guy was talking to Chewy. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Chewy, I got somebody else from the Chew crew here. I... Oh, Lord. Did you have enough to eat? Yeah. Here, Mom. Thank you. Uh, do me a favor, finish that for me. Well, you have a try. I don't want to eat those. You have a trash can. Yeah. Just, just take it there. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and stay classy, planet Earth. Have a super day, okay? Yeah, okay. Listen, joy is a choice. I, I was stretched. Hey, I was stretched. Thing. Choose joy. Hey, I've been, I've been told to do one thing. And another, a bunch of people were telling me to do a bunch of stuff. Like I was the only per person there. What further explanation do you want? Just have a good attitude. Have a good attitude. Be glad you're alive and we can, uh, we can make these choices. Such a crap. For a 25-year-old guy, he's like a 75-year-old man who's just grumpy and pissed off. All right, um... I'm going to put these windows up, guys, because I don't want you to fly out of my car. And now I'm going to put the child lock on because I did not know Chewy could open the window. We got asked also, and that was one thing we wanted to help because I love the networking, promote the James mug. James was on Love on the Spectrum. He's from Boston. We adore him. I would, kind of my little wish to meet him as well. If you don't know James in person, I think it'd be really fun. And James's mom and dad. I just want to have a cocktail with those two. So mad. They look so fun. Anyway, um, James, his Instagram is James B. Jones. If you follow him, if you, and in his Instagram, this is where I saw. I got it from his on his link tree under his, you know, profile stuff up there on in Instagram. There's a link tree. It's called Merch disrupt that must be the name of his company merch m-e-r-c-h disrupt like don't be disruptive in class or just merch disrupt and but it's his link so um the coffee i got this coffee mug and i got another one with just a bunch of his faces on it and then there's another one what's you doing schmix um she wants to hear all about this too um with it's like themed after the Beatles hard day night kind of look and then there's t-shirts so James has got his own merch going on but the coffee mug was a must-have for us Avi usly and um, I had the uh is so iconic in our house Jack does it all the time like just out of complete fandom we just absolutely love James so we got this and then we got a, one with a bunch of his faces on it um so if you follow him on Instagram he has a link it's called merch disrupt you should be able to find it there I think also got a question or a comment about TanCon tickets and how it was a little confusing I'm gonna respond to you directly um, I guess tickets are being released in tiers I'm really along for the ride for this too. I'm not really behind the planning. And um, the next bunch will be, I'm gonna, I got a whole text response from the people coordinating. So I'm gonna just respond to you with that so I don't misspeak. So that will be coming. So thanks for all the interactions. We, I wasn't here Monday. Uh, I was still up at the lake, drove in and went to work. So I was not with Connor. But Coco and Chewy got groomed yesterday. Chewy, do you wanna show everyone your haircut? Show the Chew Crew. Okay, Loco for Coco, Coco Puffs, that she got groomed. Cookie, show everyone you look so cute. Chewy, you don't want to show everybody how cute you look? Come on.
one too. I can talk to Chewy too. It's not all about you, Smig. Coco, it's not all about you all the time. You're fine. You do have two other dog brothers that need love. She thinks he's the absolute star of the show. I really want Chewy to get up so you can see how cute he looks. His hair cut. And he looks really clean, which I love. He looks super white and fluffy. Chew bug. <whistles> Nugget. Nug nug. I know he's alive back there. He just opened the window. All right. Well, I'll try to get him to poke his head up. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. So, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. We won't be bringing Connor to work Wednesday and Thursday this week for undisclosed reason, reasons. Yeah, at least we won't be in the car on Wednesday and Thursday. So we have today and tomorrow and then we'll be back next Monday. Or you know what? We might do a special edition. I've got good news. I can't even believe I waited this long. A special edition car ride somewhere. Our family from another mother, our Texas family, um, Luke, Luke and Connor were in baby play group together. And that's how we met. Luke's mom was the host of um, Mother's Morning Out kind of baby play group. And really, I think it was for the moms. And basically, Luke and Connor were seriously three three months old. No, Luke was sitting. Maybe six months old, to be fair. Yeah. So Luke Luke was sitting six to nine months. Okay, I'm making all this up. They Luke was sitting up, so he obviously wasn't three months old. Connor was not yet. Cause Connor had this giant head when he was a baby. I called him King Cranium. It was like, it's just like this big bald baby head. So it took him a little longer to sit up because he was just so freaking top heavy. I now know cause he has a huge brain and he's smart. But, um, so Luke was sitting up and Con Connor was still kind of on his back on a boppy pillow. They had these little horseshoe pillows and like that. They've been friends for that long. So it's kind of fun that they're 25. We have moved all over the country. They've always stayed in Texas. And Tiffany, Luke's mom and I have remained literally one of my best friends. The kind of friend that I don't speak to for six months and I can pick up the phone and tell her my darkest secrets and she's right there. It's just that, a true friendship. So Luke is coming to see us. He lands on Thursday. And he's with us through Sunday. So I think we'll do a little car ride with Connor with Luke. We'll throw Luke in the car. So maybe we'll do a special edition. It won't be Connor going to work. Okay. Um, you guys have a great day. Again, prattling on here. The 23 minute mark. Hope you have a great day. I really wish Chewie would get up. Omar, what do I do? He won't get up. Help me out here. Chewie, say hi to your Chew crew. Chewie, watch this. Cookie. Chewy, you want a cookie? Chewy, do you want a cookie? Wait, seriously, where, what's going on with him? Chewy. Hey. Chew. I'm a little freaked out right now. I know you guys are probably like me, and I'm like, he usually would jump up if I say cookie. So. Yeah, all right, he's fine. Good Lord, dude. Coco, get out of his way. He's literally just laying there looking at me, but he won't because she's like alpha him in some way. I really want you to see how cute he looks. We're almost in the driveway. You guys want to wait? I can rattle on here if you want. This chick right here. Will you just let him? Anyway. Um, we're gonna get him. Here, Coco, come on up. Can you jump up here, Coke? Come on. Maybe Chewy will show his face if you get up here. Come on. Good girl. 
Come here, Chew. There he is. Show everybody. Look at how handsome. We have a nice haircut. We got shampooed. We got all your mats out. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Chewy. He looks so good. So, yeah, thank you for poking your cute little face up, dude. Yeah, Coco is hogging all the limelight, per usual. All right, anyway, thanks for sticking around with me now, 25 minutes, but, and I think, I hope Co Chewy was worth the wait. Little cute boy. You like baby. Um, you guys have a super Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow. And then, like I said, try to do a special edition with Luke. And uh, we will for sure catch back up on our regular schedule next week. Have a good one, guys. Love you. Mean it. Bye.